Hey guys, it's Kim. I just bought a new hair oil and today is a... Uh, I would like to do the comparison between the OG Extraordinary Oil with the new one. I think you all might have tried this one before. It's the OG and it's so cheap and so good. I think this one to me is a drugstore dupe for Kara Stars Super Expensive Hair Oil. Oil. This one is way cheaper and I just went to the store and they have the new one. This one is a serum with French rose oil. This one they claim that is for all Asian hair types and I'm so drawn to it. Even though I have a wavy, dry, frisk, prone to frisk hair type, my hair looks so oily and I'm gonna shower and use this too compare side by side. Normally I would love the rich oil like this one. They have really dry, frizzy hair. Oily scalp but super dry hair. But this one is a serum so I don't know what to think about this one. I think my hair is better with the silicone type super oily hair oil. But this one, it looks promising but Let's see how it works. So I'm gonna shower and I'll be right back. Hi guys, I just showered and let's blow my hair. So first thing first, I'm gonna detangle with a wet brush and equal to detangling brush. section my hair to part my hair to be two parts. So on my left side I would put the regular extraordinary oil. And this side on my right side I would put the pink serum with French rose oil. I mean it's the same packaging. It's way lighter, like so liquidy. I use half of the pump and I have really fine hair and I love to put the hair oil before I dry it. Just doesn't look greasy after that. Normally if I put after I do everything, but it will look super greasy. definitely feel like a serum it is way lighter it's not a little bit oily but not really this smells so expensive but I love the smell so much smell like high-end perfume go back to the OG external It's only gray. Before this, it's not as this gray. If I'm not missing, smell like a facial cream, body cream, but I'm fine with that. I'm not so sure if doing review side by side would show the significance. Result. Let's see. This one I can tell it is like more silicone type. It's not as light as that one, and I prefer that actually. I 
right guys I just finished blow drying my hair so for my first impression this oil is so good it keeps the moisture and help me with the blow drying really well I don't feel like super tangled like before I would say it's really silky smooth and really help me blow drying and combing my hair way better so I tried this the OG one before but this is a new one that I couldn't tell much of a difference only the the newest one is a little bit lighter in the texture it is serum so it's supposed to be like that and I kind of feel like the OG one feels a little bit more silky smooth but I'm not so sure so and one thing that I can notice that the old one can tame the frizz and hold the, the wavy hair on myself better but you can see it's a little bit wavier while this one I feel like my hair is a lot more straight than this side they marketed for the Asian all Asian hair types and I feel like the majority of Asian girls have really straight and thick hair and I have wavy and thin hair so so that's the only thing that I could say that it doesn't defy the curl as good as the old one but it still does the job to protect my hair from blow drying and taming the frizz really well so I really like it and it feels so light so I think I'll be right back for tomorrow to see how beautiful they both look because today I shower in the evening time but overall I really love it and this is so affordable all right guys this is the next morning I just brushed my hair I shouldn't have done that I should show you the real texture of my hair before I brush it but it's okay, I already did it. So, I really love the, how they make my hair so vibrant and look so silky smooth. And last thing I said that doesn't define my curls as good as this one. But, but when I wake up, look at it. I like them both equally now. This one is definitely feel a lot lighter in the texture and the way it feels on the hair, but it does a job perfectly to conceal to seal the hair follicles perfectly just like the old OG one so I really have nothing bad to say about this now so it's gonna be my everyday hair oil and if I need something extra richer if I make my hair get drier I will use this one so it's so affordable and I really love it the only bad thing that I could say to L'Oreal would be the animal cruelty Anyways, that's it guys. I really love this drugstore hair oil. Thank you so much for watching.